all right so today we are going to be doing abs and core workouts for beginners and first timers don't be scared this is very easy to do we don't have so many reps so you will be able to do it hello fierce fitness family welcome back to the channel okay so yes we have another workout for the week okay so we're targeting the core a midsection okay time to bond that belly fat time to get that flat stomach that that you've been longing for this is for people that are just starting out maybe you're just going to the gym for the first time you want to do your stomach or you are at home you want to do your core you know you want to train and work those core muscles this is the exercise for you let's start right now okay so now if you are at the gym you need some weight you can use a dumbbell or you can use a weight like what I am holding right now or if you are at home then you can use a bottle of water but remember that this is a beginner friendly workout so you can actually do all of this without any weight it will still work all you need to know is make sure your core muscles are properly engaged so you can get the best results like i said earlier we're not doing so many reps so right now we're doing double leg raise so use your dumbbells if you're holding a dumbbell pick one dumbbell and grab it with both of your hands and do what you see me doing right here repeat this motion if you can do 10 times go ahead if you can do 15 okay if you can't then you can go for six or eight and then you move on to the next exercise okay all right so like i said if you're at the gym and you're just feeling some type of weight don't right now we're moving over to single leg okay now different people we are we have different body shape and all of that so people have more space on their back doing this uh particular one here single leg raise you can actually place the other leg that you're not using on the floor or on your mat okay or you can suspend it but make sure your core is properly engaged one thing with when you're working the core muscles if you don't engage the core you don't get the best results because it just seems like when you're just relaxing you're just sleeping or you're just walking you're your core you're not really doing much but when you want to exercise burn those belly fat burn some calories and all of that make sure that your core muscles are properly engaged now if you do not know how to engage your core muscles i've showed it in so many other videos but you can also leave me a comment down below and i can include that in my next video where i will have to show it in the beginning even before i start the workout so you know how to properly engage your core muscles sometimes people make the mistake of only here engage your core muscles they hold their breath please when you're exercising do not hold your breath always breathe Ooh. in and out properly don't hold your breath just because you have to do 10 reps then you hold your breath until you complete the 10 reps before you start breathing okay that's a big mistake that beginners make okay all right right now doing this like i said it's a beginner friendly and this is something that i will keep saying throughout this video so you can do it without a set of dumbbells but if you want to you can use as small as four two or even one okay one kg just if you want to just hold something you can start that small and build up but trust me you can do this without holding anything and it will still work okay it will still work because staying in this position alone is difficult enough all right let's go for hip, uh, hip dips at this time okay let's go let's go let's go take your plank position lift your butt up a little bit and give it side to side so you can bond those side fat in order to get that figure eight shape like i said we're not doing so many exercise now we're standing up i know some people love just being on the floor but when you're working out sometimes you need to combine both standing up workouts or, or standing core workouts and on the floor core or ab workouts so that's what we're doing in this video combining both of them and making sure that we do all to work the core muscles and mid area so right now we're going to make sure your core is properly engaged while you do this move your hands above your head you can actually do this without the dumbbell also all the exercises done here you can do them without weights you can do them with just your body weight 
or you can add a little weight that you know you can handle and build up from that okay this will help us target target the sides okay so we get that hourglass figure we get that good shape okay so all those bra bulge and those things on the side won't be that obvious or we'll be able to get rid of them as it is our target okay so all right that being said pick up your weight at this point if you are in the house get your water bottle and use it okay side to side but if you don't have anything or you really don't know how to use those things then don't even bother about it put your hands together and just move side to side from your left to your right from your right to your left repeat as many times as possible as you can handle before you move on to the next exercise all right now we're going down on the mat with a russian twist doing your russian twist you can actually do your russian twist with your legs on your yoga mat and you can actually do it without a weight but if you want to challenge yourself a little bit lift up your legs and add the weight but if you're starting out lift up your legs don't use a weight and just get the balance get yourself challenged and over time you build up by adding the weights also okay all right so now we're doing the half sit-ups okay with our legs up now we're walking those muscles underneath the breast okay that's what we're targeting right now with this exercise we're doing do as many reps as you can now doing this particular exercise you can actually put your legs down on your yoga mat or you can lift them up it's your option the choice is yours do whatever one that is comfortable for you as a beginner as someone that is starting out to exercise someone that is starting out with the gym okay always remember do little until you know you're comfortable you've mastered everything then you build up now we're going in for flutter kicks okay so let's go if you are advanced at this point you can get those um, weights that they put on the legs and attach that and it will help you so let's just go and that is it let me know in the comment section this is quick let me know how you feel thank you till next time see ya